literally just walked up to my front porch after work. And look, I've got a package, but apparently <laughs> they can't read. Uh, just real quick, um, called the realtor today about, these people are probably gonna think I'm crazy. What's he doing there holding a camera in his face? Called the realtor today and confirmed and set up the appointment for next Monday at two o'clock with all the city officials or whatever. So looking forward to it. And like I said, this property isn't looking good. Not a big deal. It's gonna be a learning experience. And they're probably thinking I'm weird too. Probably gonna be a learning experience. Ooh, a squirrel. No, it was a car. A learning experience. Uh, to see what other people want and thank you guys so much for all the comments today I'll go over them uh, a little bit later um, especially uh, Ed I'm probably going to uh, be contacting you pretty soon so thank you for your offer for help as well all right it's cold out here I'm getting inside so do you guys ever have those days that you like start doing something and you get sidetracked doing something else and then you get sidetracked doing something else and then on top of that you get sidetracked doing something else so like nothing actually gets done yeah one of those days uh, the haunt video is just about done. The haunt video. The uh, prop car scare video. Ooh, itch. Oh. Ah, okay. Anyway, I can't wait any longer. I need to open this. Um, this is from Ken S. From Warren, Pennsylvania. Covering address to protect the innocent or maybe guilty. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and I cut myself too. Yay. Just a flesh wound. All right, guys, so here we go. And yes, I sit on my table. Hey, look, I even put it this side up, up. <laughs> Aw, hey, there's a note. <laughs> For the most interesting haunter in the world, stay scary, my friend. Merry Christmas, Ken. Thank you very much, Ken. I don't know what it is yet, but thank you. I mean, just this is cool. Oh, and of course, this will go on the, the wall. Oh look, I can even do a Muppet style. Smorgasbord, 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 I know everybody's a. Uh, oh, freaking awesome! Holy crap! Everybody's a comedian. Wow. This is awesome, dude. Wow! Get a grip of this, guys. How cool is that? That's like pro hunt. I want to put it over here so I don't accidentally drop it. That would suck. Look at that. Dude, Ken, thank you very much, dude. Merry Christmas to you. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what else to do right now. Um, get you out of here early. Do some COC. One subscriber shout out. So let's go ahead and do that. Awesome stuff. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, so thank you for subscribing, The Haunt Freak 2. Very much appreciated. All right, guys, C-O-C, -C, here we go. And I, I, first of all, I want to say thank you all, all of you guys for the comments on the Pro Haunt. I mean, we're plugging forward. We're going to make it happen in one way or another. Um, it's just a matter of gaining information and figuring out what to do, when to do it, how much it's going to cost, and who to do it to? I guess. Whatever. So, John John 911 made reference to a door room for the question that was asked last night. What, you know, some of your fears. And, uh, you know, in the door room, you had to pick the correct door, and there was sounds um, all around through the whole haunt and have video throughout the haunt, too. Um, very good ideas. ABC Noise 2 um, mentioned heights and fear of falling. And also, no one is mad at you for not being able to watch their vlogs. We all love you and what you do. Aw, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated, especially on nights like tonight. Amber Pup, you know me so freaking well. Uh, you guys will see why in a second. Looking forward to the prop car video, and don't count the prop cars a fail. If it scared even just one person, then it did its job. True, it was a lot of work, though. Um... It scared more than one person. You guys will see it. I'm excited for you guys to see the video. As far as time, you probably wouldn't be happy if you weren't busy. That's true. Um, pretty much I'm, I'm always up and doing something and moving because if you're not moving, then you're not moving forward, right? Isn't that what 
they say. Drop dead, Troy, keep your head up, and yes, it is a learning experience. Welcome to the life of commercial ownership. Ha ha, a tip, find out about insurance and what is required. And it's interesting that you said that because Ed Roberts uh, made a comment before and he gave me a link to an insurance agent. And uh, of course, Ed Roberts is uh, director of West Coast Hunters Convention and uh, the Nightmare Factory. So everything, good information, and uh, Nine Cats uh, said to drop dead. Good thinking on the insurance. Uh, you definitely want to pack on the liability assurance, insurance, especially considering what a litigious society we live in. I think I said that right. And speaking of Ed Roberts, cities hate haunts. Know the codes by heart. You can use porta potties for toilets. Welcome to our world. Up to 999 square feet, no sprinkler, an inch over sprinkler system. Pole stations or fire safety chief, emergency exits every 50 linear feet of travel throughout the haunt. A lighting system that if you lose power will go on with a separate power source, battery powered emergency lights and exit signs. You may need smoke detectors or a hat to rise for fire safety too. Oh, and you need to look at the vids of Erubus Haunt in Michigan. This haunt takes it to a level I wish I could go to. I will definitely check that out, Ed. Um, thank you. Uh, Pandemic Cemetery. We're hitting the same roadblocks over here with putting up a pro haunt. It's all about I'm not going to read what he says because I don't, you know, if somebody from the city sees. Uh, you guys can see it, though. It is funny. <laughs> um, make him your best friend and do whatever he tells you. If you get him on your side, he can bend the rules just a little bit um, just in case you fall short of the fire codes, but also don't count on it. Lizard Master. You should make a wood bridge and add a cool river stream with crocodiles or sharks and make it look like they're eating a human. Ooh, that would be cool. Uh, there's actually a haunt, can't remember the name of it, because my mem memory's like, you know, that, that long. Uh, there's, there's a haunt that I saw on TV that uses a real crocodile and a real python. And you guys are probably going to tell me the name of it. They've got the crocodile in the pond that nobody can touch, you know, it's safe and everything. And then a little while later, they've got this animatronic crocodile that comes up and snaps at you. But because you've already seen it, you've already got it in your head that there's a real one, it just brings the realism that much you know, brings it out that much more. So that's really cool. Nine Cats, um, thank you for the information. I will check that link out. Joy Zagal uh, made comments about parking and how, you know, a big event is going to need a lot of parking. And also, why don't you look at areas where you can rent a spot? That's a good idea. And Keith and I were actually talking about, talking about that in renting a spot so we don't have that huge initial uh, overhead of you know, basically a mortgage or a loan. Um, and then, you know, in a year or two or three, then looking to either buy the place we're at or looking to branch out. And I think that would be a more cost-effective way in the long run. So, good idea. Ramth Tall. Now, why would you edit Keith's golden words out of a vlog? <laughs> His fan must have their daily dose of Keith, or of Keith wit. And as to uncommon frights, how about the floor giving way underneath you? I love that idea. I, I've always, I mean, especially here, you know, at your home haunt, I've tried to stay away from pathways that are uneven or people could trip or, you know, stuff like that because it, it just gets into a lot. And if you guys post this down in the comments, is, is there a law? Because, I mean, I want to include everybody. Is, is there a law? Because it's public, you know, it's a public event. Do I have to accommodate for wheelchairs? So post that down in the comments. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I would like to. I would like to include everybody, but, you know, that's just an unknown for me right now. Also, if the pro haunt doesn't happen this year, you've at least learned some of the ropes and will know what to expect and look for in the future. Very true. Blot Black Ink. You should make a life-sized hell mouth and push people into it. Nice. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, and also, why are you working on your haunted house in December? Because we got to start now in order to make everything happen for next uh, last week of September and October. So there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and also he thinks that claustrophobia is the worst one in his humble opinion. I, I totally think that you're right. Brad's Boo Barn. I used porta potties this last year and I have electricity. Also, I know I told you that if you want to use my property, it's free. Um, the question is, can I charge there? And I mean, that would be intruding on yours too. But I still want to come and vlog there, uh, Brad. Absolutely. 
And last but not least, M Rocks 951. In the late 1970s, there's a haunt around where I lived where you crawled through a pitch black tube. Then they flashed the lights, and there was hundreds of live rats below the tube. That is so awesome. So not only do you have the fear, uh, or you've got claustrophobia, you've also got musophobia. And yes, I had to look that one up, but I know it's correct. Gonna get you out of here. Uh, hopefully the vlog's under 10 minutes tonight. I'm gonna keep editing on the haunt video because apparently I have nowhere to go. All right, so with that said, happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow.